do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we will discuss about the origin of magnetism and the origin is because of the moving charges so let us understand how magnetism is produced in a substance hello students let us understand the origin of magnetism a substance behaves like a magnet or acts like a magnet because it has the ability to attract certain other materials like uh, iron cobalt nickel or magnetic substances now if we go to the origin of magnetism we think of an atom and the atom has nucleus which is positively charged and electrons are revolving in circular orbits around the nucleus so supposing that these are electrons which are revolving now so in an atom there might be lot of electrons revolving and in a substance there might be lot of uh, atoms in fact it has lot of atoms and many electrons are revolving around the nucleus and there are many atoms so in each atom there are electrons revolving around the nucleus and as a substance as a whole we will consider that we know that the electrons are doing two things one is uh, it uh, revolves around the or uh, rotates around the nucleus and it also spins about its own axis so the electron moves around the nucleus at the same time it also spins about its own axis just like uh, earth spins about its own axis so earth has also got uh, two types of motion one is spin motion because spins around the own axis which gives rise to day and night and the orbital motion of earth around the sun which gives rise to the seasons so similarly the electron if you think of electron as the uh, earth it also uh, not only spins around its own axis it also revolves around the nucleus if it uh, moves around the nucleus this sense then uh, there is a uh, magnetic uh, moment produced there will be a magnetic moment because uh, the revolution or rotation of flow of uh, electron is equivalent to the flow of uh, current if electron is moving circulating in anti clockwise sense then that equivalent value you can say that the current is flowing in clockwise sense so here in this situation this is the direction of electron circulation this is the direction in which the electron is moving so therefore this will be the direction of the current this is the equivalent current that will be clockwise sense if current is clockwise sense then we know that the dipole moment that we will also study afterwards the dipole moment formula is uh, i cross uh, a i a and uh, i is in this clockwise sense and uh, a vector is uh, m cross b the dipole moment will be the area vector is downward 
so that is in the downward direction so if it is in anti clockwise sense it is in upward direction if it is clockwise sense it is in downward direction that means in a current loop if current is like that then this is the direction of dipole moment if it is uh, anti clockwise sense then the dipole moment will be in the downward direction that will study upward so because of this uh, current loop this is equivalent to a current loop that is in downward direction and uh, because of its uh, uh, rotation about so, so suppose that the electrode is revolving like that the current will be in this direction so the dipole moment that is produced due to orbital motion of the electron is called orbital dipole moment that will be downward and because it is uh, rotating on own axis in uh, this sense whatever current that is produced or uh, that will also give rise to uh, the um, spin or uh, dipole moment so this, this spin magnetic moment spin dipole moment and this orbital dipole moment will add vectorially and that gives out the total magnetic moment of the uh, atom so individually if i find the net uh, uh, magnetic moment it might be in any this any direction and for other atoms it might be in other directions and therefore if those two those vectors or um, total magnetic moment of in the individual atoms in a substance they cancel out then net magnetic moment of that substance is zero then that substance is called uh, non-magnetic substance if it is not zero they are called magnetic substance like uh, iron cobalt and nickel so here we have got uh, uh, because of its uh, this rotation orbital motion this is the orbital motion motion of electron and that as well as we have got uh, spin motion of electron so it has got both the motion so because of uh, spin motion we have got uh, spin magnetic moment and because of orbital motion we have got orbital magnetic moment so the total magnetic moment is the orbital magnetic moment plus the spin magnetic moment this is the total magnetic moment so in an atom say a there can be infinite uh, number of atoms in any substance the substance is made up of infinite number of atoms many atoms suppose this atom total m is in this direction this atom total m in this direction the other one is that direction if the total moment is zero that implies the substance is called non-magnetic if it is not zero then it is magnetic if net total in any substance net total moment in any substance is not zero called as called as magnetic substance okay thank you